Paul McCartney praises Beyonce's cover of his iconic Beatles song. The Beatles star pays tribute to his fellow music icon following the release of Cowboy Carter, Beyonce's eighth studio album, which includes a cover of the Beatles song Blackbird. In a new Instagram post, Paul writes, I am so happy with Beyonce's version of my song Blackbird. I think she does a magnificent version of it, and it reinforces the civil rights message that inspired me to write the song in the first place. He continues, I think Beyonce has done a fab version and would urge anyone who has not heard it yet to check it out. You are going to love it. Paul also gives some insight into the remaking of the 1968 song, revealing he spoke to the singer on FaceTime and she thanked me for writing it and letting her do it. The 81-year-old says, I told her the pleasure was all mine and I thought she had done a killer version of the song. When I saw the footage on the television in the early 60s of the Black girls being turned away from school, I found it shocking, and I can't believe that still in these days there are places where this kind of thing is happening right now. Paul ends his post, anything my song and Beyonce's fabulous version can do to ease racial tension would be a great thing and makes me very proud. The rock star has been open about his inspiration for the song, which originally appeared on the Beatles' double album known as The White Album. Over the years, he's talked about being inspired to write the track by the Little Rock Nine, the nine black students who challenged racial segregation in public schools in 1957 by enrolling at an all-white high school in Little Rock, Arkansas. The rock and roll legend even met two of the former students, Thelma Mothershed Ware and Elizabeth Eckford, when he performed in Arkansas Arkansas in 2016, at the time posting a picture with the women whom he called pioneers of the civil rights movement and inspiration for Blackbird. Beyonce's cover also holds special meaning for another member of the Little Rock Nine, Melba Beals, who tells NPR people ignored the song's meaning for a long time. But when the Queen Bee speaks, people will listen. And when people listen, they may open their minds to compassion about differences.